Hello, crafty people. Um, I decided it was time for me to make a tutorial because I haven't done one in forever. So I thought I would do a tutorial of the wands that I have been making. This was the first one I made, like very Maggie Holmes. I feel like I can't even give this one away. Do you ever have that where it's just like, it's just too pretty. I just can't give it away. Also, I apologize for my um, crazy band-aid. I like ripped half my nail off, so you know, tie-dye band-aid, duh. So we're gonna make something like this, um, a totally different theme though. I thought because it's summer, I would use the Summer Lights collection from Pink Paisley. So I gathered some of that stuff up together um, to use. So <clears throat> I got most of the stuff kind of like already ready. Like I picked out, this is gonna be the straw that we use. You can obviously pick whatever color you want. Um, I already made the rosette because ain't nobody wants to see me do that on film. So use a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Um, you can, if you only have the six by six, obviously you can do two small ones and then glue them together. But if you have a 12 by 12, that works just as good. And you're gonna cut the paper. The one that I did is one and a third inch wide. Um, I've also made them one and a half. So totally up to you. And I already scored this um, and I'm just gonna glue it. Maybe I'll glue it. Glue it together. Um, you can use whatever glue works for you. I use hot glue just because like I need to. Otherwise I would just be like a mess everywhere. So kind of scrunch it so it's basically like that. There's no like real rhyme or reason. And then I used my one and a half inch punch and just punched out um, one of the pieces from the six by six paper pad. Just put like glob of glue. I think everybody does this a different way. So I put it on top like this and then just kind of like push it down live on a hope and a prayer and hope that it, you know, is gonna stick mostly correct. And they're not like perfect. I'm sure there's a more perfect way of doing these. You can see it's not like the greatest, but totally okay. Cause it's going to be covered up anyway. And then if you want, I just put some like extra glue in the middle just to kind of like help set it. So this is the rosette we are gonna be working with. You can obviously use whatever pattern of paper you want. This is just what I had in the 12 by 12. So now we're gonna move on to, I already picked out, so each wand, the back piece is a doily. You can use whatever doily you want. So it's just the standard size. These Martha Stewart ones are a little bit bigger, you can see, but it doesn't really matter. So that's gonna be the back piece and this is gonna be almost the front piece. All right, so the next layer we're gonna do is, I did vellum on this one. You can see this gold vellum. Um, I've also used glitter paper, that's what we're gonna to use today. So I just honestly traced one of my Hobby Lobby um, schools of trim and it, I measured it, it happened to be three and a half inches. That's just a good size. So I thought I would actually cut this out on camera because I know a lot of people have a hard time cutting out circles. You don't really need a die. You just kind of have to make small cuts like this all the way around and it seems to work out pretty well. So I thought I would just show you how I do that because I don't have a circle die and I was always terrified of cutting out circles because it's just like super intimidating. You know what I mean? Like you screw up one piece and it's like you're done for. All right. So as you can see, it's not like perfect, perfect, but I think it comes out, you know, decently, decently well for not having a die. Not bad. So what we're gonna do now is glue the front piece on. So I am going to use 
um, one of these puffy squares just because I like to add dimension. So we're gonna add one here. And I like to glue them just because I don't want stuff like falling apart and my, you know, crafting game isn't like the best. So, you know, there's no like quality control up in here, so. All right, so now I should have mentioned, this is a two inch scallop punch. So it's the big, big, big one. Um, you can obviously use whatever size you have. I have them in like every single size. So like this, it's crazy how different it is. This is a two inch, this is a one inch. I probably use the size I use most often is this one, which is the one and a half. Um, but honestly, they're, they're all good to use. So we're just gonna put some glue and then just, you know, eyeball this. So it's somewhere in the center. So like, not bad. It's looking, you know, pretty good. Um, and I'm gonna wait till the end to, to decorate it. All right, so the next part is, I wish I could say there was like a great way to do this. There just, there just isn't. Um, so what I do is I glue this part down and then I kind of peel this back because what we're gonna do is add this eyelash trim. I've tried gluing it down before. I'm sure, you know, I could, um, but I just find that like it doesn't get it in the right spot. So it's better to set it while the rosette is on there. You can obviously do whatever works for you. So you're just gonna put glue on the scallop punch part. So you can see my circle isn't, you know, perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but Pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. I say that and then I see this part that's like really getting on my nerves. Okay. So now with this, you can use, you know, gold eyelash trim. I'm gonna use this really pretty teal color because I think it matches really well. So this is the part that's a little awkward. So what we're gonna do is just glob some glue down. You're gonna like peel it back. And then I'm sure there's some like tweezer or instrument that would, you know, make this like much easier, but I just kind of like drag it in there. And again, see, I can see like where I wanna place it. So I just prefer this. And then you're gonna push down here because then the rosette is actually gonna stick to that hot glue. So you're just gonna repeat the process and I do it in like pretty small chunks just to make sure I get it where I want it. It's looking pretty. And obviously like some of these eyelash trims, like the eyelash part is much uh, longer than others so like this one I think is fairly long. It's like, hello, beautiful. Can you imagine that? Like creepy. All right. I apologize. I don't know how to do fancy like YouTube editing and stuff. So I'm sure one day I will learn, but for now we're just gonna go along with it. All right, so. That's basically it. So now you're just gonna trim that and then we'll just stick that right in there with some extra glue and push it down. Love it. All right, I might trim this a little bit because this is just crazy. But obviously do whatever you want. We'll see. I feel like I'm gonna end up trimming more of this, but you never know. All right, so now for the next part. 
I was gonna do pink, but you know what? Like, I think I'm gonna use that pretty, like, greenish. I think that's gonna look better. So try to use, like, a contrasting color. So this is, like, the Hobby Lobby trim. So this part, pretty self-explanatory. You're just gonna glue along the edge. I like just the uh, trim to be sticking out. So it looks like that, but whatever works for you. I hope this is recording. I love it when people say that. It's like, oh shh, I'm halfway through and I hope it's recording. You like how I just caught myself? I have the worst filth mouth in the history of the universe and I have to like really be mindful when I'm doing like my YouTube videos because I don't want to offend people. But if I'm being honest, I almost just lost it right there, ladies, but I live to see another day. So you're just gonna keep putting this around Again, I'm sorry about not being able to speed this up. If one of you ladies wants to give me a tutorial, help me help myself, that'd be great. So then I'm just gonna clip it right about there. The thing I like about hot glue is like there's still a little bit of play with it even after you set it down. So I think that that is nice. So. That came out cute. All right, so the next piece is attaching the doily, whatever doily you would like to use. So we're just gonna put a ton of glue everywhere. All right, and then just kind of, you know, eyeball it. So you can see these sizes work out pretty well for this layering because you just get like a tiny bit. You can see each piece. I really like how that, how that looks. All right, so now for the decor. So I pulled out some of the stickers and chipboard pieces, I think. I want to use this little bathing suit, maybe one of the stickers, who knows really. This is the part I get like super fussy about, I hate it. Does anybody else feel like that? I'm just like, hmm, should I do this, should I do this? That's why I always am like fearful of doing tutorials because it's like, do you really want to sit around and watch me just like do crazy things? Probably not. And then, I don't know, what do you think? A little seashell? They're just wrecked. How about that? Yeah, cute, all right. So as with everything, I'm gonna just glue it down and I'm gonna stick some of these dimensional stickers so it can stick up. These are great. They're from uh, Joann's, they're in the $2 spot. You get like so many, it's amazing. I go through them like crazy. Cause it's like, I don't know. I just use, I'm just so extra, I guess. Do, do, do. All right. How cute is this? Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so the way that I do these, I just put a whole bunch of glue about an inch and then I peel this back a little bit and just stick it right up under one of the folds. And then I kind of twirl it around to make sure it's like set, okay? All right, last but not least, we're gonna add the trim. So 
you can obviously do any length you want. Um, I like them to be like a little bit shorter than the full length. If you want to do the full length of the straw, I totally could. So um, I just went through my scrap scraps here. This is kind of like this, I don't know if you can see it, like periwinkle tool. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use this. Um, and these are about 10 inches, I think. This color. I'll do this purple. Does anyone know where this is from? I thought it was from Hobby Lobby, but I didn't see it there. So if you know, please let me know, because I love it. Mm, and then some some beads. All right, so I just kind of like line them up like this. Um, and then what I normally do is get a piece of string or twine or, you know, whatever. This is like kind of pinkish, so. I just kind of tie it in the center two or three times. I'll probably just do this twice. And then we're going to cut cut these. Not like all the way because you don't want it to come undone. Because then it gives me somewhere to like attach it. So I'm just going to put a bunch of glue there. And I'm going to attach it this side down. So no fear of it like coming apart. And you're just going to push that down till it's set. And then I got to figure out what to put here. So I have this little like basket of embellishments. I don't think I'm going to use gold. I could use, it's too much blue. I don't like that. Oh, these are perfect. Let's see. So I could use that. I could use this. Kind of like this because it looks like a starfish, right? And it's like holographic. This is like perfect, perfect. Again, you know, gotta do the glue. And I just kind of like put it on there enough to like cover it up. You wanna like hold it down. And then obviously because this is a sticker, sometimes you have to like, it's coming up right there. So just add some more, some more glue there. I got glue all over the front of it. I'm a mess, ladies.